Hello everyone, welcome to the Nosphere. This is Sheshadri Kulkarni. In this video, we are going to know about the domestic policies of Lord Lytton. Robert Bulwer Lytton, first Earl of Lytton, was born on 8th November 1831 in London, England. He was appointed by Benjamin Disraeli as Governor General of India in November 1875. He served as Viceroy of India until 1880. Many major events happened during his tenure and his reaction and tackling methods for few of the incidents made his tenure controversial also. He was also known as Ruthless Lytton for his non-caring attitude towards the Great Famine of 1878. Domestic Policies of Lord Lytton The major domestic policies or decisions took by Lytton are Arms Act 1878 which ordered that no Indians will be allowed to bear arms without a proper permit. In simple language, we can say that it was a criminal offence for Indians to carry or sell arms without licence. And to be noted, this act was not applicable to the British. Nationalists like Surendranath Banerjee opposed this act and called the British government a racist. Next. Statutory Civil Service was introduced in 1878 by Lytton under this one-sixth of the total vacancies to be nominated from higher status Indian families as the British bureaucracy in India was opposed to the entry of Indians into the civil services. Therefore, in order to discourage Indians from competing for the examination, Lord Lytton lowered the maximum age of eligibility from 21 years to 19 years. Royal Titles Act 1876 The British government passed the Royal Titles Act. Queen Victoria was recognized with the title of Queen Empress of India during his tenure. Lord Lytton held a Darbar at Delhi which is known as Delhi Darbar on January 1, 1877 to proclaim the title of Queen. The Queen also assumed the title of kaisar e hind Lytton spent the huge amount of money on the ceremony and show off the Darbar. At that time, India was in the clutches of the famine. Therefore, it was opposed by many. This is also known as Great Famine of 1878 which affected many parts of Madras, Bombay, Mysore, Hyderabad and many parts of Central Bharat and Punjab. The British government failed to provide relief to the famine striken people which added further miseries. Therefore, the government appointed the Famine Commission. The commission laid down the principles which formed the basis of subsequent famine policy of the government of India. The Vernacular Press Act 1878 The Vernacular Press Act in British India is law enacted in 1878 to reduce the freedom of the Indian language that is non-English press. Introduced by the Lytton, this act was intended to prevent the vernacular press that is the native press from expressing criticism of the British policies, notably the opposition that had grown with the Second Anglo-Afghan War. The act excluded English language publications. This act faced the strong opposition in India as it was designed to control the vernacular press and punish and repress seditious writing. So friends, this was the information on the domestic policies of Lord Lytton. Hope you loved this. Do like, share and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.